Hey guys, what's up? You're watching the EJ Tech Show with me, Sahil and Soham, and today we're going to be talking about the new LG Tone Free FN7 earbuds that cost 18,990 rupees in India, which means it's been priced. It's tricky because yeah. uh, they go up against the newly launched Galaxy Buds Pro, which are actually cheaper uh, than these. Now, they do have two key features. The first one being active noise cancellation, which you've seen in a lot of other premium uh, ear wireless earbuds as well. And non-premium wireless yeah, earbuds. And non-premium, yeah. yeah. And now, the more important feature that a lot of other earbuds have started introducing, but still not quite there, uh, it's actually the charging case, right? Not from the outside, but from the inside, because this offers you UV lighting to pretty much kill all germs that you can't see. Yeah, so UV nano lighting is what they call it, and it's supposed to essentially remove uh, and kill bacteria that is invisible to the eye using light that is invisible to the eye as well. So again, this is a sort of faith relationship you have with LG. They're saying we're killing them and you believe that they're killing them. But then again, there's no real way for us at least to test uh, the technology and see how it works. But again, we're taking them at face value that sure, if you've yeah. introduced the function, then that probably means that it's going to work so, so well. So you've been using this, you've been testing these. How yeah. exactly does it work then? Do you just, uh, does it only work when you, uh, when it, uh, you put it in the case and it has to charge or as soon yeah. as you bung them in it starts working so you have to put them inside you don't need yeah. to necessarily shut the case yeah. you just put the earbuds right. back inside the case and you give them around 10 yeah. minutes and that's when you know that they're yeah. done cleaning yeah. um, and there's also these this blue ambient lighting that sort of comes from below yeah. but that's not that's, the UV light because yeah, UV lighting yeah. is invisible yes yeah. uh, so this is more like mode lighting right? yeah it's yeah. just it's more of an indicator to yeah. let you know that this function is working yeah. but that's about it um, Apart from that, the case itself is really nice, uh, nicely built. Yeah. And that's something that we don't often see from a lot of even premium um, earphone manufacturers. And that's something that I think is very integral to the entire experience of owning true wireless earbuds, but something that's quite neglected by most manufacturers. LG, yeah. however, has made a really nice case. Yeah, it's got it's, a very nice matte finish as well, very yeah. smooth to the touch. And it's small, it's smooth. It does retain fingerprints. and like yeah. all the oil from your skin, it, you can actually yeah. see it there. But yeah, that could have been improved. But overall, feel-wise, yeah. it's very premium. They also get wireless charging and USB Type-C charging. And there's a little pairing button on the side so you can pair. Yeah. Um, Plus, uh, the these are IPX4 rated, I believe. So yeah. water and sweat resistant, so yeah. it should be okay. But that's not for the case, that's only for the only buds. For the so buds. that's yeah. important. Yeah. People think that it means IPX for no, the entire yeah, unit, yeah. it's only for so the buds. So only for the buds, that means uh, you can use them if you're walking in the rain or if yeah. you're doing a, doing a sweaty workout, workout or something. Yeah, But they're so not should... dust rated, so yeah. do keep that in mind that this won't work that well uh, if you're, let's say, resonating in a sand pit. Yeah. But yeah, if for other workouts, it should be absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay, so uh, quickly, let's now talk about the audio quality because if they don't sound good, then there's no point. So yeah, right? these have been tuned in partnership with Meridian, yeah. uh, which is a British um, hi-fi audio brand. Yeah. And we've we've seen given, other brands yeah. do these sort of partnerships, like we saw it with the Enco X. Yeah. Uh, they partnered up with uh, Din Audio, a Danish yeah. hi-fi brand. So yeah. they certainly bring their tuning expertise to this. And in that sense, yeah. I will say this, they're not super bass heavy. They're, yeah. they're, it's a very neutral sort of uh, sound uh, tone to it. Mm -hmm. And the sound staging is quite uh, sort of linear. It's right there in your ears. You don't feel yeah. like there's any sort of spatial effects happening. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel super surrounded. Yeah. Uh, it feels very straightforward, yeah. uh, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. If someone prefers that, then you can go for that. This is for people who enjoy all the clarity and details from a song, especially songs with complicated instruments and yeah. uh, uh, sort of compli uh, complicated setups. Yeah. For those songs, yeah, this is really good. But if you just want to jam out to maybe like really yeah. bass heavy hip hop or Punjabi music, then maybe yeah. these aren't the right ones yeah. for you. Plus it comes with a very fantastic app, right? The LG yeah. Free app. Uh, I've seen, we've used a lot of uh, compatible apps uh, with other earphones as well, but this one's really special because yeah. it's very detailed. Yeah. And you know, it just gives you the touch controls at the very top as soon as you yeah. open that app. So it's got things like that. Plus uh, you can change the different uh, bass levels on this as well. A lot of manufacturers are also taking a backseat when it comes to that. Some of them aren't developing apps whatsoever. Yeah. They're just saying, you know what? you buy our partner phone for yeah, that, yeah. only then can you get the like, full functionality. Yeah, like when the OnePlus Buds One came plus out, buds, exactly. So app, yeah. things like that, I, I feel like that's a bit of a cheap move, but then also those are super budget, they're like yeah. 6,000, so um, obviously you understand when a manufacturer makes yeah. that sort of decision. But when it's this expensive, you do need to have a partner app with which you can fine tune the audio details. Yeah. And as far as that goes, 
the LG Don't Free app is really good. Also, unlike all the other apps from Sony other manufacturers that I won't really name right now, um, there's no privacy policies you have to agree to or 200 different permissions you have to... He's talking uh, about Realme. He's talking about Realme. Basically, <laughs> you, you don't need to do all that. It's just basic, them. simple. It's just you open the app and that's yeah. it. Everything you need is, is right there. Yeah. The only thing it asks for is location in case you want to use the app to find your earbuds if you've misplaced them somewhere around the house but they're still connected to Bluetooth. Yeah. Um, when it comes to Bluetooth, these do have Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. That's weird, not 5.1, not the latest 5.2, it's still... still Honestly, I think that's okay because 5.2 then helps in a little bit with range and stability, yeah. but 5.0 itself wasn't all that So it's not bad. that negligible you're saying. Yeah, the so yeah, the stability is like good. Like 5.2 yeah. would be, uh, would make sense if, let's say the designer makes some sort of offset with where the... Uh, the connective, uh, the connective part of the Bluetooth uh, system is placed in the earbuds themselves. So if they think, you know what, this might not connect as well because of the design, yeah. then you put in the better, more stable Bluetooth version. But otherwise, Bluetooth 5.0 is fine. It's been coming down for years. So there's no real problem with that whatsoever. Um, and on the battery front, that is something that I'd really like to point out. Now with ANC on, I got upwards of five hours of continued music playback, which is honestly quite impressive and the music was at around 70-75% volume so if you are someone who really likes listening to music for long periods of times uh, this will give you the battery backup to be able to do that yeah. and Plus the charging, quick charging as well right yeah there is quick charging you'll get from 0 to 40 really quickly in like around 5 to 7 minutes but then 0 to 100 will take over almost yeah. 2 hours in my experience at least it took well over 2 hours to get from 0 to 100 so do keep that in mind but Talking about listening to it for long periods of times. Now, this is my personal experience. Earbuds, I've always said, especially in your ear earbuds, this is something that people should really choose for themselves. Yeah. Go and if you can, I wouldn't recommend using someone else's earbuds. But if you do have the uh, option to do that, definitely see if you can try these before you buy them. Because everyone's ear canals are built differently, yeah. all earphones in your earbuds are built differently, so they may not fit your ear canals very well. Yeah. For me, these did not fit very yeah. well, and they really did cause a lot of discomfort. I could barely wear them yeah. for upwards of 15 to 20 minutes yeah. without them hurting. But so, like you said, everyone has different ears, ear canals. Precisely. Because so, I've, I've seen other reviewers saying that it was absolutely fine in their ears. Yeah. But with yours, yeah, so it can happen. Uh, yeah, this has happened previously also yeah. with us. I yeah. remember the Sony XB700s. Yeah. I found them really comfortable, well, the he Sony, did not find them yeah. super comfortable. And the Sony so. 1000 XM4s were very uncomfortable for me. Yeah, they were fine for me. So yeah. that way it's different strokes for different uh, folks. Yeah. That truly is the anthem here. If you're buying in-ear earbuds, definitely do see if you can try them yeah, on if before you, can, you buy if them. If that option is available, yeah. go for it. If it's clean, if it's hygienic. Otherwise, uh, you do get yeah. different ear tips, so you can definitely well, I don't know, this comes with that UV lighting technology, so maybe you can try them on. But even <laughs> then, it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, Better exactly. to be uh, safe than sorry. Uh, also, that active noise cancellation, yeah. let's just talk a little bit more about that. In your experience, because you've used a lot of ANC earphones in the yeah. past, how does it compare with, let's say, the recently launched, uh, the, what was it, the Oppo Enco X? I mean, would you say that they're in the same level when it comes to ANC? I would say the fact that the passive noise isolation with these ear tips and the fit is so strong yeah. that tr the transparency mode isn't as good. Mm. As in, when you're using transparency mode uh, with active noise cancelling earphones, you want to be able to hear everything that's that happening around noise, clearly. Yeah. You want to be able to hear everything. Here, it doesn't let in as much ambient noise as you wish it would. Well, it does give you that very tight seal, so exactly. passive noise cancellation is already there. Yeah. Right? So and the flip side of that is that the sealing is so good, you don't realize if you're on a call, let's say, with the ANC on and everything. Yeah. You might be actually shouting in reality when in your head you think everything is fine because that's a very integral part of speech. People don't realize, especially manufacturers don't realize that when you're talking, you need to be able to hear yourself in order to regulate your own volume, uh, which is something you can't do very well with active noise cancelling uh, devices. But on the whole, ANC is quite strong. It will uh, punch off very loud noises, ambient noises as well, especially if you're, let's say, in an office or a cafe or a train station it can block out really big noises. However, like always with all ANC devices, uh, high frequency noises, like if someone suddenly slams a shut a door very loudly, or if there's a horn or something, it'll, it'll pick up that, that will come through yeah. because it can't possibly uh, predict yeah. that something like that is gonna happen. Yeah. Um, but on the whole, it is a good ANC experience. And it is, I would say the ANC experience at least is worth the money. 
Now, before we wind up, there's one important feature that we do need to talk about, which is the touch controls. Now, touch controls have been getting better on true wireless earbuds um, for a long time now. Initially, there was a very limited functionality on them. Yeah. However, with the, the FN7s, you can do things like play, pause tracks, you can skip the next track, yeah. uh, you can also toggle the, your active noise cancellation technology with the transparency mode, you can do all that. But I will say this, in my experience, it was a little bit finicky because the touch pad for the touch controls is placed in such a um, high position that every time you go to adjust the earphones, which for me was a lot because they weren't sitting absolutely right in my ear. So slightly budge. Yeah, I would inevitably end up pressing the touch yeah, yeah. pad and either play pausing the music or changing the transparency mode and the active noise cancellation mode. So that is something to keep in mind. So, uh, very premium earphones. I do think they could have been more competitively priced, in yeah. my opinion. Uh, but you are paying that uh, you are paying that premium for that Akamai's constellation, that partnership with Meridian, and of course that the Yumi uh, Nano technology, Yumi Nano technology uh, that's basically a germ exterminator. And in COVID times, that's a good feature to have, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, these were the LG Tone Free FN7. Let us know what you think about them. Let us know in the comment section. And if you want us to continue making more videos like this, do hit that sub button. We'll be back very soon. Thank you so much for watching.